What up? Hey, I got them done. Welcome to uh, Grow Shelves Part 2. Alright, let's take a look at this. I put a cut list in the comments in case you're interested in building this project. And uh, I'll go over the whole thing and explain it to you. Alright, so what I did was I added electric right onto the grow shelf and I wired that straight into my panel um, just because I've got enough loads plugged into it that uh, I didn't want to trip any breakers or extension cords can get hot. Most extension cords are real small wire uh, like number 18 or something they can't handle a huge load. Um, so let's start with that. At the bottom I've got my milk house heater plugged in to try and keep about 70 degrees in this area. I have taken and put in some tarps up just to try and create an area uh, to contain the heat. Now here I wired in a thermostat. So I've got that receptacle is wired through this thermostat and I've got it set for 70 degrees. I put it about halfway up and so when, when I get 70 degrees at that point, it'll turn that receptacle off down there and turn the, the milk house heater off. Which this is a, a new milk house heater that I purchased. Um, they're about 30 bucks. And I would recommend a newer one, not an older one, because let me tell you, if I even begin to move this thing, it turns off. So there's a lot of safeties built into these new ones. They've caused a lot of fires over the years. Up here, I've got a, I put a quad receptacle to which I plugged a, a timer in um, for my lights because you should have uh, lights at about um, in, in the beginning, anyways, uh, about 16 hours a day in dark for about eight hours a day, and you can reduce that a little bit as your plants get bigger. And then I also plugged my heat mats in for my peppers. So what I did was I built these shelves 18 inches apart. Um, I built four of them. And this is kind of based on the, the height of my, my ceiling in my basement. And then I put the lights. I, I bought... LED lights, which they're easy enough to buy on Amazon. I, I bought 12 of them for like 80 some dollars and they work great as grow lights. If you buy a uh, 6500K color spectrum, um, that's what you need. And then I built my own um, uh, structure to attach them to. And all that's in the cut list. And then I, what I did here was I, I was going to get some uh, chain so that I could raise these one link at a time. Uh, but instead, I, I didn't have that on hand. I had some paracord on hand. So I used that and I tied it up and I put some, some eyelets in here. And um, so I can, I can adjust the light as the plants grow. Uh, what I would have done different. I probably would have done 24 inch spacing and probably just done three shelves. So we'll do that on the next one. This is fine. And, and I'll see by the end of this year, obviously first year trying this. And we'll see but know by the end of the year if 18 inches was more than enough. Um, what we got going on here right now is a bunch of tomatoes, which if you're wondering, does the grow shelf work? There's the proof. Um, I've been having this going for about a week now, and most of my tomatoes have come up. Uh, also, the um, uh, some of the flowers that I put in, uh, the marigolds, they came up. I, marigolds actually came up first. I think it was two days, and the marigolds had already popped. So, and uh, the tomatoes were only a few days behind them. Up here I got peppers and I've got those on heat mats because uh, from everything I gather, uh, the, um, 
peppers really require a lot of heat to germinate. So those heat mats run about 80 degrees. And between the heater creating a, a 70 degree atmosphere and then the heat mats uh, right underneath them running about 80 degrees, uh, none of those have, have popped yet, but they were a few days behind the tomatoes and I think they do take longer to germinate. Trying to chip some potatoes on the top shelf here. I don't know how well it's going to work. You don't have to chip potatoes uh, before you plant them, but it does give them a head start. I've already got a whole row of Pontiac Reds that I put into the garden so far this year. And uh, But I wanted to try and chip these. These are Idaho's before I plant them. So the bottom row here is some flowers that I planted a couple, about two days ago. A lot of different perennials and, and some, uh, some annuals, a bunch of annuals in there. Uh, so that we can just kind of beautify the place and, and help bring in the, the bees and butterflies, whatever, uh, to, to help pollinate and to, to help the butterflies out. That feels a little important right now. They say they're kind of disappearing. So I also have a bunch of seeds that I'll direct sow. Uh, for the butterflies, a bunch of milkweed, which is one of their favorites. So that's it. Hey, let me know. What do you think? Um, it works. It's a good project. If you're interested, if you like to garden, this saves you a butt ton of money. Uh, instead of buying plants to grow your own, and your, your cost is only initial in the startup. After that, you can continue to use this whole setup for year after year possibly having to replace some lights but they're not they're inexpensive so there you go so you're probably saying to me right now Johnny why didn't you just buy those shelves instead of building them it would have been faster possibly easier um, I could have but for the dimensions I wanted the shelf was about 150 bucks and I've got 16 or 17 um, 8 foot 2 by 4s into this project. I used uh, pallet wood to make the, the brackets for the lighting and some screws and glue. Um, so uh, you're looking at around $40-$45 uh, for to build the, the shelf itself. And uh, first 150 the difference is my time. I cut it all on my miter saw and my table saw, so uh, no big deal. Easy peasy. Now, the reason I wanted the shelves at these dimensions is because these LED lights I wanted to buy and use as grow lights, and, and they're just LED strip lights. I got 12 of them for 80 some bucks. Uh, they're 6,500K, and that's important. See, I got some flowers coming up. I'll have to see what comes up. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, so these these light strips are four foot long, and these uh, trays are twenty inches deep. So basically, I needed at least I, I was looking at, at to be comfortable something around uh, two foot deep and four foot. And that was about a hundred and fifty dollar shelf. Uh, the electric stuff I got here, um, about two fifty an outlet at Menards. Uh, I bought the twenty amp receptacles, a um, couple bucks for boxes. The uh, let's see it. The uh, thermostat was like sixteen dollars on eBay or not eBay, uh, Amazon, and. The reason I did that instead of buying a heater with a thermostat on it is because I wanted the heat to go on and off based on the temperature at this level. Because I knew I was going to be starting my seedlings at a comfortable level for me right here, most of them. Um, so I didn't want the temperature going on and off based on what was happening down near the floor with the heater. So the whole project didn't cost that much. It obviously works. It works well. I mean, uh, I've got things sprouting here. Most of my stuff is sprouting long before it was even supposed to. Um, and we haven't fertilized yet. 
I'm a week off still before I put any type of fertilizer to the tomatoes. So uh, everything's good. These these little heat mats are about twenty bucks or a piece, I think. And I bought a I bought them as a pair. Got a little better deal on Amazon. Um, you don't have to get the ones with the uh, thermostat on it. They just the regular heat mat runs around eighty degrees, and that's what your peppers need for germination for the best germination. Um, they require a little more heat than other things to germinate. So that's why I did it. That's why I built them. They're strong. They're sturdy. They're not going to fall down. Uh, they'll stand up to whatever I put them through. Hell, I can lay them. You can move them around. It ain't going to hurt. Them. So that's why I, I built the shelves instead of purchased them. Besides, I always like to look at stuff I've built and know that I built it. It's a good feeling. Cuts are in the comments. Um, in case you're interested in doing this project uh, or using it as a guideline to do a project similar to this. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.